Okay, now I would like to talk about how to uh, design SE Dome struts in SketchUp. And as you can see here, you need quite a lot of guidelines. <clears throat> and you actually need three more to be able to do it. So this line is six centimeters from this line, which is the width of our strut. And so this is the width of the strut and the material strength of the strut would be here, from here to here. So now, here we here it goes. We just start off <clears throat> by, so this is a component or a group, it doesn't matter. So we start off by doing our sideboards here, make it a component or group, it doesn't matter. Open the group and cut off the lower half. We don't need the lower half. Let's cut it off. So the easiest way to cut it off is mark it and delete. All right. <clears throat> and now we want to find those lines in here. We got to start pushing it in. So we know this distance of our strut is six centimeters because I'm using six by twos. So I'm going again into it, pushing it out two centimeters, all of them. Mm. Again, here we can also, we can already take a look being pushed out. What happened? Nothing. Why did nothing happen here? Because there's an, a right angle here. Because this is a piece of, um, of this is the top part of an octahedron. And there happens to be a right angle here. Okay, so next one. Let's turn around, open it up, push it in two centimeters, two centimeters, um, close it again, okay, so here we can already see what we want, we want, we need this line here, okay, let's open up the last one, and again push it in, two centimeters, good, now what we want to do is we want to take all of those and intersect faces with model. And here we can see something happened. Right now, if we really have great stamina, we could just start deleting, deleting things. So this line is really interesting here. So where, where's the middle? Let's find the middle. Here's the middle. So where's the middle? Here's the middle. So now we have everything we want. And we got to wave this thing goodbye.
so now we have all we almost have all our struts and they are aligned uh, around a pyramid in space and we can't use in inferencing in SketchUp so what we want to do is we know that each strut is a group or a component actually now we want to use a trick to um, align them in in space we want to align them with uh, the blue axis no no with, with the red and green plane so that we can measure the angle against the blue axis so and here i'm i'm finishing my last strut and uh, once i'm done i will show you um, how to how to align objects in space by using components Okay. Take this and this. So turn it around. That's it. Make group. that is the final result. So now let's take this object and twist it around a little bit in 3D. So there's no way I know all these angles and I can possibly, there's no way I, I can rotate it back, right? So we make it a component and right now it's really interesting. Um, we have to reset the axes like I'm doing right there. Um, I say glue to the horizontal plane and now... I use the symmetry of the object to align them with, with the axes. And in SketchUp, you always want to be aligned to the axis to get proper angles. So, but it's not enough to, um, to do this step to create this component. We have to pull the component out of the side tray. So right now, here's the component. You delete it on purpose. And now you pull it out of the outliner. So where's my outliner? Go down, down, down. All right, components. And that's what you would do to a strut too. And when you're done with that, you can start measuring angles. Okay? Good.